Actually, uh, we can also talk about the selection a little bit, how selection works, because... Because now we have a few <coughs> things to work with, so how do we manage them? Yeah, well, actually, um, selection is, is, is pretty basic. You, you just literally click on the, on the item and it gets selected. If you click on another item, that other item gets selected. But if you would like to select two items, as you mentioned, you can hold the control key and click on the second item to add it to the selection, and then all others will be added automatically. Now it's important that if you select something first, it will be highlighted with a different color. That means that was the first selected item. Why is that important? It's important because based on that information, you can ch change the distance between the first item and the rest of the selection. So the first so, always stays where it is, right? Yes, yes. Or you can just change the dri direction. So you can uh, make, make the other one to be the first selected or the highlighted mm -hmm. one. Uh, so you can do it, do it uh, the other way around. So if I would like to change this as well, it's 2.1. I just click first on this, control click on the second one, and I just type 2.2.1. And enter and that's it now pretty much the same way you can actually uh, select partition walls and make them change for any sort of reason or if I would like to for example change the the, the color or the material of the exterior walls I would like to use something like a stone uh, pattern I can you know I can click here and control click and keep clicking and, and, and adding all these things but actually there's a much more sophisticated way if you know that all these uh, items share a common property and yes. that common property is their thickness for instance um, yes so in that case you can use the um, you know there is this edit tool and there's this selection bar here and with, with, with all sort of selection items and there is one with the by properties. If you click there, you will find a property which is the wall width and then you can tell the software, please select everything that shares the wall width. So it should be 0 0.38 because you have 0 0.38 and then yes, everything is selected. Is uh, supposedly we don't want to have this one in the middle selected, so how yeah. do we get rid of this? In that case, again, you can just use the knowledge that you already have. How you added uh, an item with control. So if you hold control and click on a selected item, it will get removed. So it's it's not selected now. Now all only the, the exterior walls are selected. So now I can go here and say that I would like to change the this material to something else. This is the material library. I did not mention that, but besides uh, styles, Archline is coming with built-in material libraries, doors, and everything else. Uh, now I'm working with the materials. I go back to the libraries, and you can see that there are several uh, options, um, other sub-libraries where you can find these items. Uh, I know that there is a stone somewhere, uh, but I don't know where, so I just use the search field and I hit enter, and then it will find everything with the name stone, and I will just the use stone this decoration one, for example. Stone decoration should be good. Yeah, so that's, that's it over there.